Nolan Hickman was originally committed to Kentucky, but when two assistant coaches on the Wildcats staff left, Hickman decided to move on as well. And that's when Mark Few moved in. As soon as I opened up my, my uh, recruitment, you know, Mark Few was the first person to call. Gonzaga and Mark Few did not originally offer Nolan Hickman before he committed to Kentucky. Once he decommitted from the Wildcats, though, Few was not going to make the same mistake again, even if Gonzaga's man in charge initially thought he was done adding to the 2021-2022 roster. They weren't recruiting nobody. You know, they, they, didn't, they weren't taking nobody else. So the fact that they reached out to me and it really wanted me that it really showed them, you know, that I was wanted, you know, and, and they really needed me on the squad. They opened their eyes, you know, when it came down to it, when I was a free agent. So they do their homework, they do their research, uh, you know, real hoopers, which I am. So although playing time has not been discussed between Nolan and the staff for next season, he hopes his hooping ability will lead to plenty of it. The way I impact the game is I don't see them no way of me, you know, not playing as much as I do, but. You know, that's that's what I'm going to, you know, come in and bring, you know, my things that impact the game as much as possible. So if the coaches see it, you know, then, you know, they'll let me rock out. Speaking of rocking out, Hickman got to do that with a few of his new teammates a few weeks ago at the Iverson Classic in Memphis. Chet Holmgren and Hunter Salas were at the event that featured the top seniors in America. Hickman wasn't publicly committed to Gonzaga yet when he attended, but he went there with a purpose. It was real dope, you know, getting to connect with Chet, you know, I, and I kind of already, you know, threw a little hint to him and Hunter before even going there, you know, to let him know that I was even coming. So <clears throat> they, they knew that, you know, we needed to start a little chemistry, you know, our, our connection needed to be a little bit down packed, you know. So this was that was kind of like the little practice before touching campus type thing. So yeah, it, it was dope. I loved it. That trio, along with a slew of exceptional returning players, has Gonzaga ranked as the preseason number one team in the country by nearly every outlet. Nolan isn't really about the talk. You know, I don't like being given. I don't like give, like nothing given. So um, I just, we, we got to show. We got to show why. That, that, that's my thing. But if that talk proves to be correct and results in a national championship, well, it would mean the world to Nolan. Uh, that that would be huge. Winning a national title has always been a dream. So winning it, you know, even staying in the same state where I am, where I'm from, that's even more crazier to even think about. So bringing one home, you know, so yeah, that, 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 that's nuts to even think about. You know, even I'm, I'm stuttering, getting chills, even thinking about it right now, even speaking to you. There is so much that we didn't have time to put into this piece that we talked about with Nolan, including the fact that his announcement to come to Gonzaga didn't exactly go according to plan. You can find the full interview up on Krem's YouTube page right now. We'll also have a link to that full YouTube video within the story we do on Hickman on Krem.com. That's it for sports.